It's been a week since the last self-publishing news, but I've got some stuff, some a steaming hot plate for you that you're going to enjoy. In fact, some of this is going to be covering that we're saying goodbye to comiXology. Uh, it, it, is it going away entirely? Well, not necessarily. It's it's going to be going somewhere at any rate. Also, there are some lingering Black Friday deals, Cyber Monday deals, that I'm going to inform you about at the very end of my news segment here because I know some of you don't want to be sold on things, heaven forbid. And the biggest item in the news is this KDP alternative is getting AI audiobook narration. All that in the self-publishing news for November the 27th of 2023. And let's go ahead into the very first thing here. I want to let you know there is a big Black Friday deal with my sponsors, the fine folks over at Dibley Create. Get your hands on the tool that I've been raving about for the past few months. Ignite your creativity, craft authentic content, and fast track your success with Dibley Create's seamless human AI collaboration, the ultimate companion in your self-publishing journey. They're right now offering a 25% off annual plans when you use the coupon code of Black. Friday 25. That's a capital B, black, capital F, Friday, 25 at uh, checkout. Use that there. You get 25% off your annual subscription. I highly recommend you take advantage of it. If you happen to be cash strapped, you can always see about getting the free access and just take it for a test drive. I highly recommend it. That's dailylinks.com slash Dibley Create. Don't forget Black Friday 25. It's going to be good till November the 30th. That's the longest Black Friday deal yet. All right, the very first item up in the news. Let's get the big one out the way here. Publish Drive. They are a distribution platform. You may have heard of them before. Uh, they have distribution to numerous avenues. And one of those avenues just happens to be Apple Books for Authors. So they just recently got the new feature for Apple Books Digital Narration. So if you are cash strapped, you're looking for other ways to produce your audiobook and you're not 100% artificial in, you're not against artificial intelligence then you know this might be one of those options now previously you could just go to apple books for authors to do this but if you're already distributing through publish drive this is a great way to do that so big kudos to them i'm glad to see that they're getting that integration built into publish drive so it gives authors a ton of great options uh speaking of publish drive they're asking a they asked a huge favor of me and i'm gonna pass it on to you they're actually going to be doing a publishing in industry insights survey. This is the deepest dive of any survey I've seen yet. It's not going to be one of those ones that take five minutes, but it will take some time. These publishing industry insights surveys are very helpful for getting the pulse of what's going on in the indie author community. Whether you're making a few cents or making a few thousand dollars per day doesn't matter. They need to hear from you. So if you could you get a few moments, it'd be a huge favor to the folks over at Publish Drive and a huge favor to me because I'll be using some of this data later on. Go on over and visit that link. And by the way, links will all be inside the show notes. So you can go ahead and check those out. And hey, by the way, speaking of, did you guys and gals happen to know that I actually... The Alliance of Independent Authors had invited me a few months ago to become part of their podcast, a monthly segment called Reaching More Readers. And we did our second episode that actually launched this past week. And it was covering successful marketing for multi-genre authors. My co-host Holly Greenland and I actually sat down for about 20 minutes or so and talked about multi-genre authors versus, you know, uh, single genre authors. And what were some of the potential pitfalls and troubles that you're going to run into being a multi-genre author. Because keep in mind, folks, I am a multi-genre author. I know what it's like to travel down that dusty road, and sometimes it's not fun. I cover that more in depth inside the podcast. Go ahead and take a look at it. You don't need to be an ally member in order to listen to it. Coming on over here, this is one that I'm very disappointed to share with you because it was about a few months ago I'd shared on my main channel how you could sell eBooks through YouTube, as long as you are part of the YouTube Partner Program. Now, in order to qualify for what we call the merch shelf, you would have to have 500 subscribers and at least 3,000 watch time hours over the course of a year, or have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch time hours, which is the higher YouTube Partner Program. Now, they had the ability to integrate with Shopify and Spring and Spreadshirt. Now, the first two options were where you could distribute your ebooks, and it was really nice. 
Sadly, it's going away. So if you happen to see an ebook below one of my videos, it's probably going to disappear in due time because unfortunately it's now considered unsupported shopping content. Among other things like tickets, ticket sales, vehicles, financial products, ebooks and digital books are included among the ones that they will not support anymore. This includes PDFs, EPUBs, Mobis, and so many other formats. This does not include audiobooks. So fingers crossed. Maybe eventually we could do distribution of audiobooks. I'm not sure how. I mean, maybe through Shopify you could be able to do that. Um, you can still sell the print book uh, version. So that's another thing that you can do through Shopify. So um, kind of bummed out about it, but it is what it is. So moving on forward here. This is coming from the fine folks over at the Hot Sheet. Uh, hotsheetpub.com actually is where I get a lot of my information and details. Over the past few months, I've shared how the USA Today bestseller list has kind of changed considerably, and it's not favoring indie authors very well. And I think it was a week or two ago that I mentioned the Wall Street Journal bestseller list is gone. Bye. See ya. So the Hot Sheet said, you know what? We got your back. So big shout out to Jane Friedman. Don't know Jane. Jane's a stand-up person and she puts together just an amazing service here. In partnership with Bookstat, we are proud to offer three distinctive monthly bestseller lists. The top 50 self-published ebooks, the top 50 self-published print books, online sales only, top 50 hidden gems in print and online sales only. So this is really, really cool. If you want to get a good pulse on what is performing really well as far as self-published authors, go look at this list. It's really kind of cool. It's very insightful and it's inspiring to me, I think. And uh, I, to my knowledge, I, I think that you don't have to be a subscriber to the hot sheet in order to access these lists. I could be off on this one. My apologies. There's a link. You go ahead and take a look at that. I will do my best to let you know when each one of these bestseller lists roll out. And maybe we can highlight and spotlight some of these folks if they happen to be, you know, someone we all might be able to know. Uh, moving a little further forward, I teased a little bit of this at the very beginning. Comixology. This is the digital comics platform. Well, it's going away. Technically, it's merging. It's merging with the Kindle application. So any of the digital comics that you would normally get through Comixology is going to over to the Kindle Reader app. So they're just getting rid of the Comixology app. That's fine. It's totally cool. Um, I read a ton of comic books. And in fact, actually, I do it through the Libby app as well as my Kindle Reading app. Uh, I do find from time to time in order for me to read better, I typically won't use my phone. I use my tablet so I can actually see the art and enjoy that that way. But yeah, so I wanted to kind of give you a heads up by December 4th, Comixology, gone. It's getting merged over with the Kindle app. That's not to say, though, if you're distributing through com your, your comics through Comixology, that you should be able to still reach those platforms. So, all right. Speaking of platforms, this next one comes from the fine folks over at StreetLib. They got promotional opportunities available to you. And take notice, if you are part of Kobo Writing Life, this might include you as well. We're delighted to invite you to particip participate in our Holiday Boxing Week sale in partnership with Kobo. It's a fantastic opportunity for you to showcase your work to an expansive audience. The sale is set to run from December 21st to January 2nd, and we're eager to include a diverse range of titles from authors on our StreetLib platform. Uh, please set your promotional pricing by Friday, December the 15th. They do have a promo form that you want to make sure that you fill out there. Very, very easy. It's like a Google Docs form. So super simple. Go on through there. Make sure you apply for that. If you're not distributing through StreetLib, I would recommend either go through StreetLib or you can go to Kobo Writing Life and it might be underneath the promos section there. All right, let's move further forward here to another piece uh, from the folks over at Kobo Writing Life, oddly enough. They're going to be doing an Ask Us Anything about indie publishing on November the 30th. That's a few days from now. I believe that's on a Wednesday. Uh, is it a Wednesday? No, it's not, Dale. It's a Thursday. Either way, November 30th at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, they're going to be talking about indie publishing with Kobo Writing Life, marketing tips, promotional opportunities, Kobo Plus Overdrive, and the new KWL dashboard and so much more. So go over, take a look at that. Big shout out to Tara over there at Kobo Writing Life. She is just a gem. All right, uh, Draft to Digital wants to give you a heads up. There are publishing deadlines. If you are publishing new books or making changes, there could be delays. Submit your requests no later than December 4th to make sure they will be live by Christmas. 
going a little further forward to the other company, giving you some Christmas cutoff deadlines, Book Vault. Book Vault is the print distribution platform. I've been praising them here as of late. There are cutoff dates that you want to make sure for, uh, for timely delivery. For standard UK orders, you want to make sure you get it by December 13th. For the priority rush orders, December 18th. For US printed orders, it's December the 11th. And... Speaking of Black Friday, I'm going to just blaze through these Black Friday deals. So if you happen to want to tune out right now, I don't blame you. But you might want to hear me out for just a moment because some of these are really, really cool. And I've got something cool at the very end I want to share with you. Book Vault is doing a Black Friday price slash. This Black Friday weekend, we're excited to bring you exclusive savings on our print. As a token of our appreciation for your continued support, we're offering a fantastic 10% discount on your next UK print order. The discount will expire on Sunday, November 26. Okay, I'm too late on that one here, folks. Um, <laughs> scratch what I just said. It says the 27th on here. Uh, if you happen to be listening to this on Monday the 27th, it should hopefully be still be be, be good. That is BVBF23, 23. So in order to get that 10% off. Um, and by the way, if you do plan on uploading to their platform, there is an upload fee that you need to kind of account for. If you want to waive the next three upload fees, use BV Dale, as in Book Vault Dale. BV Dale. All right, Black Friday deals. Let's keep it moving forward here. Here's a good Black Friday deal coming from the fine folks over at BookBrush. They're doing a full service social media management for authors. And right now they are offering a very special uh, discount to my viewers and listeners. If you use the link and you tell them that Dale sent you on over, they have a new 14 day trial. It will take $50 off that 14 day trial. So just mention that to them. Say, Hey, I'm interested inside the social media management. Dale told me about a two week deal and I can get $50 off. You can go ahead and get yourself signed up for that one. Speaking of Black Friday deals, I've said this, I've trumpeted it from the top of the mountains. Anytime that you get the opportunity to get pro writing aid, one of the best, actually, excuse me, scratch that. Let me say this again. The best grammar checking tool online today. Pro Writing Aid is getting 50% off any annual plan as well as the lifetime plan. I can't express enough why you should be getting this because normally for the uh, lifetime plan, it's 400 bucks. I think I said 300 earlier today. It's actually 400 bucks. You can actually get it for less than $200 at this point. You get unlimited word count, grammar, spelling, punctuation check, unlimited rephrases, five artificial intelligence, sparks per day, advanced style improvements, custom style guides, so much more. I'll just keep bloviating. Let's go to the very next deal here. Black Friday, you're looking for web hosting? 85% off hosting on a Cyber Monday deal. It is for $1.99 per month for some plans for web hosting through my preferred web hosting service, SiteGround. That's dailinks.com slash SiteGround, S-I-T-E. Take advantage of that right away. Uh, unfortunately, it as I'm recording this podcast, it might be too late for some of you. So my apologies if you've missed out on this particular deal. And moving further forward, Lulu, same thing. They're getting a deadline here on November the 28th. You can get 30% off the print products through Lulu if you use the coupon code for TWINKLE30. Make sure it's all in caps and the number is 30. TWINKLE30 to get 30% off your orders. That's by November the 28th. And then my preferred low content book publishing service called Book Vault is now offering a very great Black Friday deal. You get six months for 50 bucks, $50. So if you've been thinking about doing journals, notebooks, planners, puzzles, any type of thing that it comes to low content books, Book Vault is Book Bolt is the place to go. I'm saying Book Vault and then Book Bolt. Try to say that 10 times freaking fast. Hey, you know what? Let me just save you guys even more money. If you end up going and getting them now, your six months, we can take 20% off that with the coupon code of DALE20. Yes, that's right. They're going to give you a discounted Black Friday deal and you can get another 20% off. So make sure you take advantage of that as soon as humanly possible. And last but not least, this coming Friday, I have an exclusive live broadcast that's gonna be happening every quarter where I'm gonna be showing you my video on demand service called Uscreen. And I'll show you exactly some of the tools that I utilize behind the dashboard, how I'm able to make extra revenue, as well as reach more of my readers and give them exactly what they want. So tune in for that this coming Friday. 
That's all for the self-publishing news. Was there any particular item that I missed? Was there something that you felt I probably should have gone a little bit more in depth? Let me know over on Discord. Join me on Discord at dalelinks.com slash Discord. Till later, this has been Self-Publishing with Dale, and I'll chat with you next week. Hey, thanks so much for tuning in. Special shout out to my channel members for both the podcast channel and the main channel. Without your support, some projects we do at Self-Publishing with Dale would be much harder to fund. If you want to contribute to the cause, visit dalelinks.com slash memberships for details and get your on-screen shout out at the end of each broadcast. Till later, this has been Self-Publishing with Dale, and I'll see you soon.